Hey, you're watching I Love My Job. By golly, I'm Doug Thaker, and we thank you so much for being here because we've got great shows with great people. I've got a young artist with me tonight who, well, about a year ago, David, I think you were here, and this guy is going all over singing country western music. He does a wonderful job. Uh, David is able to, to pick up on famous artists yeah. in the country music business and sing their songs. You're doing a wonderful job. What, well, how, how did you get started in all this? Well, um, well, thank you, Doug, for letting me be here today. It's uh, always good to be here. I, I was here last year. Okay. Um, but uh, I got started in uh, about, about three years ago. I was inspired by a country singer in, in Wilder, Kentucky, named Bobby Mackey. And, um, and I, I picked up one of his CDs when I visited his nightclub, um, and uh, the CD was called Country Music Lives On. And uh, I listened to the whole CD on the way back home, and three hour drive back home and learned every single song on it and started Is that right? Songs. Yep. That's oh. how I got started. <laughs> okay, what, what, you, you are a student now, right? Yep. Where are you? Ashton High School. I'm, I'm a junior this year. A junior this year. Okay, Ashton High School. So you got a few more months to go and you'll be more months. O o into the, your senior year. Yep. <laughs> and of course, obviously, your aspirations are to be a country western singer. Yep, yep. And uh, my biggest heroes, you know, are, and the uh, music of George Jones and Mo Haggard. And I love singing those songs, you know, you just can't get any better than that, you know? <laughs> okay, so in your spare time, if you have any spare time, you learn those songs. Yeah, yeah. I know a ton of songs and uh, I, I, I just love singing, you know, George Jones and Mo Haggard and, and uh, Conway Twitty and everything. And, and whenever I got some spare time, I'm always down with my guitar learning a new song. You know, okay. So. When did you pick up the, playing the guitar? Uh, Probably about three years ago. It was right after, right after I picked up that Country Music Lives On CD. Before that, I wanted to be a ghost hunter, and uh, that's the reason why I went down to the nightclub to, on a ghost event. And uh, and they had Nick Groff from the Ghost Adventures there, and they had a meet and greet session. But I was too I was too young to stay for the whole whole event of you know ghost hunting, so I couldn't meet Bobby Mackey that day. Mm -hmm. But I picked up one of his CDs, uh, Country Music Lives On, and uh, listened to it the whole way back home and. And that, that instant, I knew I wanted to be a country singer. Yeah. And, uh, okay, now you're playing now. Yep. Are you in pretty much demand? I would say, you know, I've been pretty, you know, consistent, I guess, you know, and, and uh, got, some, got some dates for the summer, and I'm booked through October and everything. And, okay, you know. so if I take you back, let me take you back, okay? I first met you at the Country Jam uh, at the Wyandotte Center, the yeah, Crystal yeah. Care Center. And that's what, every Tuesday night? Tuesday nights. Okay, mm -hmm. tell us about that event. It's a big jam session. Uh, we do it every Tuesday night from 5.30 to 8 o'clock. And uh, we got a whole bunch of musicians that come in from all around Mansfield. And uh, they, they put together this big, this big you know, music thing. And, and they've got great food and great people. And the audience is wonderful. And, uh, but we just, we play country music and sometimes we throw in a couple rock songs or something like that, like Matchbox. And, and it's just a good time. It's a really good time. It's free for everybody. Yeah, I think, you know, one of the fascinating things is it's about two, two and a half hours of good, clean American entertainment. Absolutely. And it's free. And Harry Trent does a really good job putting yeah. it on, doesn't he? Oh, Harry. Harry yeah. Trent does an excellent job. It's really good. And, uh, and, of course, in the past, I picked up uh, some people from there. I, I had the uh, Yodler woman on. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Doris. Doris, yeah. Doris, yeah. The, the, uh, <laughs> she does a good job, and, and of course, uh, obviously, Harry has been here, yep, and yep. Uh, you have a steel guitar. Mike Wilson. Mike He's, Wilson. He does, he does a fantastic job. Now, who are some of the other people on stage? Help us with that. Uh, Stoney Turner is one of them. He does, you know, a lot of the slow ballads, and, you know, he's a really good singer, and, uh, of course, Dick Starcher is really good, and, and uh, Keith, I like, I like Keith a lot, and Tracy comes occasionally, and, uh, and, ha and Harold plays the lead guitar, and there's just so many good people. The mm -hmm. Flora Atkins, you know, she's she's got a beautiful voice, and I think she's one of my favorite female singers. There, mm -hmm. you know, she's uh, she does a really good job, and uh, there's just so many people that come in and out. <laughs> okay, now that's every Tuesday night. Every that's Tuesday That's open night. to the public. Yep. And free admission. It's uh, right across the street from Crystal Care, sort of an annex of Crystal Care Center. Yep. And uh, you're saying from 5:30 to 8, you can come and Enjoy, Enjoy some traditional country music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good, clean American country western Absolutely. music. Yeah, great, yeah. great. Now, the point of it is, I also believe, such as yourself, that if you are a a uh, 
musical person, you play an instrument, you could possibly get up there and do it, right? Yeah, yeah, you had to ask Harry about that, and I'm sure he'd, he'd, uh, he'd let, them, let the person come up and sing. Uh, the, I was going to mention, there's this little girl that comes over too. Uh, her name is Candace Atkin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the and, little uh, girl. The little girl. She yeah. comes up and sings uh, Jesus Loves Me. Yeah. And um, she sings, uh, me and Herbie do a duet together called Daddy Come Home. Yeah, and, uh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so we always have a good time with that. And and uh, she just came up one Tuesday. And, and uh, boy, I tell you, she, she's gotten a lot better. Yeah, a lot no better. question about it. I, hey, she's you're only what? nine. You're watching I Love My Job. We're talking once again to David Berry. Uh, David is a young guitarist who is a country western singer, and he's aspiring uh, to become famous someday. And I think he will. I really do. So we're going to continue on to talk to David, and why don't you come back with us? talking to tonight. He is a young entrepreneur that's seeking new business and this guy is an entertainer. He does actually play and sing country western music and now I, I, out of some of these people that you talk about that you've uh, mimicked so to speak that you've learned from uh, Chad Atkins and and uh, George Jones, uh, any particular one that you're is more of a favorite than another? Well it's 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 hard to choose. Um, I, I love George Jones and Mo Haggard the best, I think, and and of course Hank Williams Sr. is in there too. And and uh, in fact, I made a post on Facebook earlier today uh, called uh, "If you could go out to dinner with any any country oh, yeah. singer, who would it be?" And I put up my three favorites: George George Jones, Mo Haggard, and Hank Sr. You know, it's it's really hard to choose. You know, I like Waylon Jennings and Conway Twitty, and yeah. I think all those all those artists bring into one you know one mix. You know, if that you know makes sense. You, I, I, I just get so inspired with, with all of them, you know. They okay, now other than Crystal Care where you play every Tuesday night, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, where else do you go? Well, I've been playing at the uh, the Blueberry Patch. It's in oh, Lexington. Yes. It's, uh, it's at the 1285 winery. That's the location. And um, I'm playing there on, on May, May 18th. And I'm um, going to be playing at the, a place called the Ugly Bunny in, on June 15th. From, uh, it's in Laudenville. And uh, of course, I've been playing at the Richmond Carousel Park too, over in Mansfield, Ohio, downtown Mansfield, and I got a show there on June first, from four o'clock okay. to eight o'clock p.m. Okay, so you're picking up more business as you move along. Yes, sir. Okay, <laughs> we're still waiting for Nashville to call you. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and the record label. Yeah, and the record labels. That's right. You're right. You can you can do both. And and now, yep. uh, do you do any writing of music yourself? Yeah, I've written a few songs. Um and. Uh, I gotta start singing them again. I, I had a, I had one back at, about, about a year ago called Barroom Blues, and uh, and I really liked that song. I li I just listened to it at the time. I didn't really like it, but I just listened to it again, and I'm like, man, I gotta really do this one again. It's mm -hmm. a really good song, and and uh, I have to sing it sometime. Maybe at the Blue Bit Patch yeah. for you. And uh, now, have you cut any recordings? Have not yet, but not. We're thinking about it. Uh, uh, I'd like to get some kind of EP going sometime soon, and get maybe a couple of cover songs and have some original songs on there too. And uh, we're not sure when we're going to record it yet, but we're hoping maybe maybe sometime in the summertime we're going to okay. get recorded. Now, is your, is your family uh, musically inclined? My dad plays the drums. Uh, he does jazz music. And, and my grandpa was a, was a singer. He had that real low voice. But mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he sang traditional country music or yeah. if he did something else, but he, did, he sang. So I think that's where I get the genes from. Okay. Now, does your father play at the uh, at the jam? Yeah, occasionally uh, he brings a snare drum and a bass drum and and uh, plays that rim shot and everything, and everybody loves it. <laughs> yeah. So your yeah. house is filled with music at times. It's filled with music. Okay. <laughs> now, tell me about your peers at Ashland High School. Well, th I think they they're very supportive of me, you know, and, and they, you know, there's times I get you know people, wow, I've seen you on YouTube and. I, it's really cool, you know. You're playing in Kentucky. Wow, that's really cool, and you know, just it's just it's a good feeling, you know. Yeah. And uh, they're very supportive. Well, it's good. Very, very that's good. Uplifting. Yeah, well, well, we we like young people that are willing to communicate with one another on a positive basis. <laughs> positive. Yep. Yeah. And that that that's 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 wonderful. Okay. <laughs> 
So once again, you're we're we're talking about another year of high school. Yep. yep. And year. are you looking ahead? Where do you want to go from here? Well, I'd like to uh, when I graduate high school, I'd like to move to Cincinnati and and work more with my mentor Bobby Mackey and uh, hopefully play some more venues down there. And, and uh, you know, I'd like to I just like to get my name out in Cincinnati a little more and, and slowly work towards Nashville. But mainly, I want to be in the Cincinnati area. You know, get get some places down there. Okay, now this Bobby Mackey, uh, you're, you're, you're uh, one that inspires you, motivated you. Yeah. yeah. Now, he has what, a nightclub or He jazz? has a honky-tonk. He's had it since uh, 1978. Oh, And uh, wow. he's had George Jones there, Mo Haggard there, and John Anderson, and, and uh, a whole bunch of country legends there. And, uh, but he's had, he's had me down as a special guest for a couple of years now. And, oh, good. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. What was cool, the first night I was down there, uh, I was in the green room and me and Bobby were talking and it was, there was a few people in there too. But all of a sudden, Sean Hammonds walks in the door. He's a singer from Nashville. And it was Johnny Paycheck's bodyguard. Walks in and says, oh, I, me I remember you. You were from, I saw you on Facebook. Ah. I think Bobby, Mackey, uh, Bobby Mackey's yeah. promotion manager, RJ, put it on Facebook. And yeah. well, I mean, meeting him the first time. And uh, so, I, you know, that was really cool yeah. getting to meet him. You know? Once again, we're talking to David Berry on I Love My Job. He's a young guitarist, a country western singer, and this guy is getting to be known all over, at least north central Ohio, and has aspirations, of course, to going to Nashville. We're going to continue to talk to David. What a conversation. And we're going to ask him to play. How about that? And sing for us, okay? So you don't want to miss this. Hey, welcome back to I Love My Job. I'm Doug Faker, and thank you very much. David Perry is with us, and this guy plays every Tuesday night. At least he has been at the Jam at the Crystal Care Center from 5:30 to 8. Uh, so, if you want to hear and see him, uh, a young young guitar, it's it's fascinating to have young people singing country western. So, what did you what did you bring for us? What do you got? Brought my guitar with me. We're gonna sing a Buck Owens song for okay. you. Okay. All right. Goes like this. All I gotta do is act naturally Well, I'll bet you I'm gonna be a big star Might win an Oscar You can't never tell The movie's gonna make me a big star Cause I can play the part so well Well, I hope you come see me at the movies And I'll know that you won't play me Biggest fool ever hit the big time. And all I gotta do is act naturally. All I gotta do is act naturally. Woo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, David Berry. Thank you. Thank That's you, Doug. Good. That is good. That's you. You you are very inspirational. Yeah, yeah. Okay, once again, every Tuesday night you can see this guy and hear him. That's the important part, along with his other colleagues. And uh, it's, yep. it's good. It's, it's good a great time. It's a great time. Anybody wants to come out to Tuesday Night Jam, it's, it's always a lot of fun out there. And, uh, you know, you get to see a lot of people, you know, bring some friends out and come out for two and a half hours of some real country music. You know? Okay, let me ask you these couple questions now. Uh, one of the things that, that I've observed sitting in the audience watching you, you have a lot of stage presence. Yeah, yeah, there's times I get into the song a lot, you know, I, you know, walk back and forth yeah. a little bit and, and uh, you just got to feel the beat, I guess, you know, and, um, you know, when you, when you really feel the song and you really get into it, you know, and, uh, and another thing is, you know, when the, when the audience is really responding, it makes the band play a lot better, yeah. too, you know. That's, yeah, that's, that's you're what right, I really you're right. Yeah. There was, well, one, there was one time I came up there on a Tuesday night jam, and, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, um, there was one Tuesday I came in there, I was a little late because I did, I did a school tryout thing for something, and, and uh, came in a little late and sang one of Bobby Mackey's hit songs, Johanna, and, uh, and the steel guitar player and the, and the lead guitarist had it all learned, and I went up on stage, and, and Mike Wilson comes up with, 
boom, 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 boom. And I, I was real impressed, you know, and, and I didn't even sing the, send them the song, I don't yeah. think. And, yeah. and, and they just, they played the right chords and everything, and I'm like, wow, you know. It's, yeah. And it was a packed house that night, too. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people come. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, and, absolutely. It was right around Halloween, too, so we sang that Johanna. Okay, okay. <clears throat> now, I also observed to you and from you that when you take a break, uh, obviously you do, like every instrumentalist up there, and you walk through the audience, you get a lot of response from people. They shake your yeah. hand and pat you on the arm. Oh, yeah, and a lot of people get pictures and stuff, too. And, and uh, you know, it's just a great time. All the people who come out there are really nice people, and and uh, it's just it's just a really good time getting to, to shake hands and talk to them, and and uh, you know it's just really now. Do you get that same response when you go to places like the Blueberry Patch? Or yeah, yeah. There's people in the audience that come, and some people come from Tuesday night jams too, and, and sit out in the audience, and they're surprised me. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, <laughs> you know? and so, yeah. But uh, you know, it's you know everywhere I go, I've, I've been, I guess I've been you know really honored you know to play at these places you know and and. Uh, and you know, to see how it's gone is, since I was here last time, you know, it's, it's a lot of doors have opened up for me. Yeah. You know? Well, you're a good entertainer and you're young and <laughs> people like young people who are talented and you are talented, well, thank you obviously, and that makes, uh, that makes a big difference. So again, other mm. than the jam on Tuesday night, your next menu is where and when again? Tell us that. Um, well, the next one uh, is May, May 18th at the Blueberry Patch, it's in, it's in Lexington. Mm -hmm. and. Um, 1285 Winery is a location, and that's from 7 to 10 p.m. And um, I'm also playing at the Richland Carousel Park on, on uh, Friday, June 1st, from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. They're doing a big First Friday um, event there, and they've got a lot of things going on in downtown Mansfield going on there. And uh, okay. I'm also playing at the Ugly, ben Ugly Bunny on, uh, on Friday, June 15th. So Friday, June 15th, okay. I'm going to say. And and uh, that's from 7 to 10 p.m. Okay, once again, mm. we're talking to David Berry, and he is a young country western singer who has great aspirations, and I'm sure he can achieve those. We're going to come back with I Love My Job. Golly sakes, stick with us, won't you? Okay, thank you very much for being with us, and we're back, and you're back, and that's great. And David's with us, David Berry, and c can we get you to play just one more song? Yeah, absolutely. Sing one more song for us here yeah. before our time runs out. <laughs> yeah, we'll do uh, um, one of Mo's hit songs, uh, um, Okie from Muskogee. We'll do this one. Okay. Now. We don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee. We don't take our trips. like living right being free we don't make a party out loving cause we like holding hands and pitching wool we don't let our hair grow long and shaggy like the hippies out in San Francisco Place where even squares can have a ball. We still wear more glory down at the courthouse. White lightning still the biggest bird of them all. In Muskogee, Oklahoma, USA. <laughs> David, you're great. <laughs> well, thank you. We very love much. you. You're that's exciting. Appreciate that. <laughs> Very much. <clears throat> okay. Um, someone wants to reach you. How do they do that, or can they? Uh, well, I have Facebook. Uh, you can go on my Facebook fan page and and uh, type in David Berry, and it should have a picture of me holding my guitar, a uh, black and white picture, and it has a list of all my events of where I'm playing at, and uh, like I said, I'm booked through October, and um, so I've been well, playing what, at... What if somebody wants to book you? How do they do that? They contact my dad. They My dad always gets the you know, stuff like that. And, okay, your dad's your you know, agent, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now how can we get a hold of your dad? Uh, well, you can reach his, you can reach him on Facebook. Um, type in Steve Berry and um, just send him a text message. And anybody wants to, anybody wants to, you know, 
contact him, just check, text him through Facebook and everything. And, okay, and so they contact Steve Berry. <laughs> Steve Berry. And uh, so if someone wants to book you yep. or hire yep. you to come and entertain, why, that's like how that. it goes. <laughs> yep. Okay. I also have uh, Twitter, if anybody has Twitter. And, uh, and uh, you, I have YouTube and everything. And anybody wants to send me a message on Facebook, say hello, I'm, I'll, I'll write back. <laughs> well, good. Good for you. You're a good guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Now, have you had a chance to, to entertain any of the uh, young people at uh, Ashland High School? Yeah, yeah. We did it in our lunchroom. Uh, I, I used to do this thing where I'd bring my guitar up, and we had about 20-minute lunch periods and, and uh, a packed room full of people. And, uh, and I brought my guitar in, and the first time I ever did it, everybody screamed and hollered. And, well, good! And, and Yay! Was, yeah! Yay so for David! Yes! They were all happy and everything, and, and so it was a good time. Well, good. Congratulations. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah that, yeah. that is a a thrill. Okay. David, golly, it was good talking to you. My time is up. I thank you for being on I Love My Job, and we certainly thank you very much for seeing at least a couple pieces. And once again, <laughs> we're telling you that David is available for hire. That's the good part. And the other good part is that he's uh, at the jam at the Crystal Care Center every, every Tuesday night. Now, again, that's the old church that's across the street from the nursing home is where the jam goes on and what'd you say 5 30 to 8 5 30 8 o'clock okay. every tuesday night i'm doug figure you've been watching i love my job we're coming back next week for another great show just like you saw tonight you were entertained with david and his wonderful voice and his country western music we'll see you next week right here won't we i hope so and thanks for being with us and good night <laughs>